you know, I've been playing in my head over and over and over, and my head sounds more smoother. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Why I decided to leave Vietnam? Well, ultimately, I got, I just got sick and fed up with all the control, uh, all the rules and regulations that they were implementing, and also I didn't feel safe at all, you know. So when safety and security comes into play, you know, you got to make a decision. waiting for my flight to come in uh, still got about an hour to go I already got to the airport checked in gave them my PCR test and then went through the arduous task of checking in through the security gate point and wow though I have a lot of stuff they pretty much took out all the electronics and spread them out in bins because they couldn't x-ray or whatever and then I took, it took a hell of time to put everything back into the bags so that was a pain but yeah look at this here i am waiting this is a flight right here look at that. yeah anna to united heading back home after two years so first stop is japan and then we're going to transit there to the final destination so i'll see you in japan So I have landed in Japan, more specifically Tokyo Haneda Airport. Look at that. So yeah, we got about four hours to kill before the connecting flight back to the States. And so what I'm looking forward to is a <clears throat> New York style egg sandwich breakfast sandwich it is and a kaiser roll so <clears throat> when we get there i'll see you for breakfast <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen my friends and I think that was one of the other reasons why I decided to come back just because, uh, you know, I don't want, I don't need any external factor, any government to tell me what to do, you know, so if I want to go see my friends, I'm going to go fly, if I want to see my family, I'm going to go fly and see them, you know, so ultimately that's why I left. Uh, coming back home, uh, some things felt the same, some things felt different, but overall, you know, it's just a sense of fam familiarity. So it was nice, even though there were some things that were different, but that's a tale for another story. You know, at the end of the day, uh, it's only I who have to give myself permission to go do things, not some external factor, person, place, or thing. So ultimately, that's what led to my decision to get the hell out of there. And looking back now, I made the right choice because <laughs> Vietnam still has restrictions. As of recording this video, they're still closed, but probably when this video comes out, they might be open, so who knows. But I made the right decision, definitely. The right decision is always the one that uh, <clears throat> doesn't depend on some external factor to give permission. The right decision is me giving myself permission to go do what I want to do, or what I need to do, or what I feel is right. So yeah, it's been a crazy journey these last few months and so I hope you guys stick around because there's a lot more videos coming out uh, to document that journey so until next time peace <laughs>